So now to do something with this data, other than just preview the array, I'm going to go ahead and save a copy of this. And I'm going to remove everything except for our connection script. And we're going to go ahead and write our query. And again, it takes the database connection and then the query. And we'll just do select all from videos where ID equals two. So same query we wrote before. Then we're going to store the result in an associative array. And we'll call this one video equals mysqli underscore fetch underscore associ. And again, that takes the result parameter. And now from looking at the previous example, we have an array with these keys. So we can now access this data and output it on the screen. So let's first test that out. And we'll say echo video. And for the key, we'll go ahead and choose label. Go ahead and save and upload this Flip over to the browser. And there you go. Congratulations. You've now connected to a database and you've retrieved some information. For those who have never done this before, uh, this would be pretty exciting. I know when I first started making websites, the idea of doing this was so amazing to me and I didn't know how to do it. And when I finally figured out how to do it, um, it was like a light bulb went off in my head. All sorts of new ideas came to mind on how I could do things with websites. So being able to retrieve data and store data in a database uh, just makes the sky the limit for what you can do with websites. So let's flip back over here and let's do something that's a little more applicable. So the idea of our example was again going to be building a dynamic navigation and displaying a list of videos. So let's go ahead and add a little HTML to this. So we're going to concatenate a string here, which is just going to be an h1 tag. And put the closing one here, concatenate that. h1. Go ahead and save and upload that. A quick peek. There you go. So that's the title of our video. Um, now, one thing that I've found helps me out is taking advantage of that array we made and the print R function to give me a little preview as to what the field names are. So let's just really quick here outside of this PHP block, let's go ahead and make a pre tag. PHP print R and put in video. And when we want to take a look at this, we can save this and upload it. And then when we want to turn this off, we can simply comment it out. So let's go ahead and save and upload this. Refresh. So now we can see the keys we have. So let's go ahead and output some of that. And we'll comment that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and save some time here by copying this whole echo statement and pasting it below. And I'm gonna change this to a paragraph. And we're gonna go ahead and use the status field and I'm going to put a label here. 
status equals. And flip back over here. And we'll go ahead and copy this a couple times. Paste and paste. And I'll change this one to we'll call this system ID, as in for our system. This ID and YouTube ID. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and change this equals to a colon. And change this to YouTube underscore ID. Save this. Refresh. And again, remember we commented out our. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to take the opening paragraph tag off of this, the closing tag off of this one, closing tag off of this one, and closing off of this one. So it's just going to be one big paragraph. And instead, I'm going to put break tags after these first two lines just to kind of keep things close and snug. Save this and upload it. There you go. And we'll go ahead and do something here to make our status a little more attractive. And I'm going to create an if statement. I'm going to say if. And we're going to say video status is equal to one. Remember to have two equals sign there. And we're going to make a variable. And we'll just call this status underscore label equals enabled. And we'll do else. status underscore label equals disabled and we'll go ahead and replace this here in the status with status underscore label and while this doesn't have much to do with databases itself I just want to show you kind of some of the things you can do with the data once you get it so you can kind of customize things depending on how certain data is returned. So if the status is one, it's going to return the word enabled. If not, it's going to say disabled. So save and upload. Refresh. And just to test this, let's go back to our database really quick. And I'm going to edit ID number two by clicking edit. And I'm going to change the status to zero. Click go. Refresh our page. And status is disabled. Pretty cool. Let's go back and edit this again. Change this back to one. Click go. Refresh. And we're back to enabled.